before you ask me why I got Michelob Ultras, I'm not a huge fan of these beers. I mean, they honestly just taste like water, 2.6 carbs of beer. But they have these slender cans, and Craig and I, we're going to melt a whole bunch of lead soon here. So I got to drink these. We're going to use these as sword fishing deep drop lead weight molds. But anyways, today I'm supposed to be doing my taxes, and I get a call from Craig. He's going diving out on Molasses Reef, I think kind of in the patch reef area just a little west uh, or i mean east of john penny camp um, probably some spots around here he wanted to dive my dive stuff is not ready my spear gun i need to put new bands on it so i'm gonna tag along on the ride bring my fishing gear so i'll probably just be on the boat yellowtail fishing drinking a couple of these things and just taking a break from my taxes Where'd all the pilchards go? I don't see them anymore. <laughs> you upset them and they left. They were here by the clouds a minute ago. They must hear that and then be like, screw it. Damn, there are jumbos in here. Yeah. Let them breathe. Let them breathe. They're back. Emma, you see all these pilchards down here? All these pilchards down here? These fish? Bait fish? We got a whole live well full. But remember, I don't like beer. You don't like beer? ¿Qué pasa? Ooh, there's some waves up here.
like 32 feet of water. Um, Craig and Emma are down there scuba diving, looking around. I, I was just swimming around for fun. I didn't think it was going to be this night out, nice out, so I kind of regret not bringing my uh, spearfishing stuff, but it's all good. I feel pretty good knowing I can go 30 feet, 35 feet without fins or anything. I just, just swimming down there holding the GoPro. And all right, I'm going to put my chest mount on and I'm going to get to the fishing. I already put one yellowtail in the box, got tons of live pilchards in there. Uh, we got a very small chum slake, but We'll make it work. Look at all those ballyhoop. And I don't have the ballyhoop net. This would have been the perfect time to try it out. I would have, man, that would have been like 20 ballyhoo in one net right there. Oh, oh yeah. I'm gonna put one rod out, this one right here, which is all mono, I think it's 15 pound test or something, going straight to a, three and a half, four inch wire to a circle hook. I'll put one live one out here and chuck them out, maybe get a mackerel on them, and then I'm gonna bottom fish with my other rod and hopefully, I don't know, maybe pick up some more yellowtail there or something. A big mutton snapper would be nice. I'll just keep him right out there. Then here's my more of a light action rod with a knocker rig. I'm just gonna hook him right in the bottom. That way he'll try to swim up from the bottom. Just like that. I hooked the other one through the nose, just so you know. Chuck him out there and boom. Game on, we're fishing. You know what, when I was in the water, I saw that there is yellowtail. So I'm gonna rig up for yellowtail and luckily Craig bought some of these little yellowtail hooks, tiny little hooks. I'm just gonna let them drift back behind the boat and we're gonna be golden. And there we go. Just running a 15 pound mono straight up to the little yellowtail hook and I'm gonna put a little chunk of um, pilchard on there. Well, I couldn't find a knife, so I'm just gonna kind of hand do this. There, that looks like a good piece. So I'm basically just gonna free line it. Just gonna cast it behind the boat and just keep letting line out, let it go back with the current and then wait for a nice yellowtail snapper to pick it up. Damn it. See, I saw this file fish and I knew I was gonna catch it. Whoa, all right, he got off. I swear, I just saw a mackerel jump about 15 feet into the air right over there. I hope I can hook up onto that. Smoke some mackerel, make some fish dip. Ooh, that would be good. Mm. That's a nice find. We got a couple big waves in front of us. Right. Well, let's get to it then, shall we? I need the wire breaking me off left and right. I need a new bait, I can already tell. Dude, mine got struck as soon as I went back there. Yeah. There she goes. Oh. I'm on, dog. Oh, it. I think it. Ah, oh, it got off got off. Got on wire? Yeah, it was on wire. Let's see what the fish looks like. Oh, 
Oh yeah, he got a nice gash right there on his head. Oh, I should have let him swallow it, but he started running. I thought he had it. Whew. All right, all right, okay. Oh. Emma, do you want to fish this? You want to fish this? Come fish. Really? All right, I'm gonna. Take it from me. No, 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 you keep reeling. You keep reeling and uh, then can I I'll gaff it. it. If it's my fish, can I put it back in after I catch no. it? Um, it's our fish, I'm sorry. <laughs> Craig's, gotta, Craig's gotta fix his statement. She's like, if it's my fish, he goes free. <laughs> I think there was rope. There was rope. All right, uh, here, keep, I'll bring the rod tip up for you and you just reel in. I don't see anything. Just keep reeling. Okay, keep that rod tip nice and high. Oh, he's about to make another run for it. Whoa, that's a big fish. Get him right in the face. Oh, it's a kudos. Okay. It's a bad kudos? Yeah, good job. Here you go. Oh, that's huge. My first fish. There's a big fish. Yeah, boom, there we go. Chum, yeah. These fish are going crazy down there. Down on the knocker egg. It looks all right. <laughs> Come on, you want to hear that right? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. What we're looking for. It looks tiny too. It sucks, so I can't put any heat on him. Oh, he got off? Yeah. Oh. Yeah, that's the vodka. <laughs> Down she blows. He's checking us out. Dude, I might have a fish on here. I either got a fish or like a... No, it's a fish. I just felt it. Oh, it got off. No. What did it do? Did it cut me off? What'd you do? How'd you do me? Let's see. Oh yeah, he, he straight up just bit me right off there. <sighs> oh, yeah, that really is fabulous. Mm. Mm. Nothing, dude. I had something. It came freaking off. Fall the. Is he off? Yeah. Oh. Oh. I got so excited there. Man, the sun's pretty much down. Bull sex. Are you going to do another drop? Whatever, I will. I think. All right, let's just do one, one more drop, and then we'll see. All right. This is the one. Last one. Oh, yeah. This is it. Bring this guy in, and then we call it a day. Should I get the gaff? Oh, it's coming up. It's actually coming up. I'll get the gaff just in case. Oh, it just got off. It just got off? Maybe not. Oh no, a big ass barracuda's got it. No, no. There's still a what? bit of... No, oh. no. Oh. Well, we gotta stay for another one. Are you yeah. kidding? 
Oh, damn it. It just happened right here. Yeah, I saw the barracuda was oh, oh, right there. Oh, man. Is he still alive? I thought I saw him. Oh, yay. Oh. Oh. <laughs> damn, he just splooshed on your face. God damn it. What was that? <laughs> he just th funk, dude. threw up all over Craig. Ugh. Man. This is just how my day's been. <laughs> oh. oh, all right, all right. I'm going to get my dude, line back down there. Shit. Fish. They're back. Yes. All right, this is redemption right here. <laughs> God, the damn barracuda's down there. Off on the right side over here. I don't know, I think he might, oh, he's still on there. He's coming up. He's coming up fast, he's like, woo! Got him, grab the line, and just drug the game. No, oh, oh, the barracuda almost got him. Yes! <laughs> it's a good one. Oh. Dude, the barracuda came up to him right at the end of the boat. There he is. He's just chilling like a villain. Look at how much I did to put my head to his left when I, when I yanked him so Holy hard. crap. So he almost he almost got off. Should we put another one down? Ooh, I'm on. I'm on. Oh, you can dive here too. It's really good. Really? Yeah. Come on. Get off that wreck. Oh, boy. He's... I can feel the line chafing against the wreck. Oh, crap. Come on. He done wrecked himself. Oh, he's out, he's out, yes! Be easy on him, he's cheap. Yeah, I'm, I'm trying to be as, oh, there he goes. I was trying to be easy on him, but he just kept going back and back in the wreck. This is the wrong ball, I think, for this wreck. Yeah, we need to be on that ball. Yeah, and then we need to scope out the, that anchor line. Oh, the whole thing is chafed. The entire line. Oh, you're on? All right, I'll try to grab that leader. And don't let any tension on it, because I'm pretty sure I ripped the hell out of his plant by now. Oh, Barracuda's down there! Oh. Yeah, come on! Oh. <laughs> Dude, he's, he's not gonna be 18, is he? Oh, he's probably like 17 in it. You gotta be kidding me. Oh, well, let's measure him. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Summertime. I'll start with the smaller guy here. See that? No more wasted meat, eh? <laughs> That's right, I'm learning. Do the same thing to the other side.
Good and better, eh? Alright, my fillet skills are improving. So now I just do one cut up into the head. Get right up into his Then bring it up. Right through the ribs. And do the same thing to the other side. There we go. No meat left on them. Yeah, that's how you do it. Oh, that wasn't smooth at all. <laughs> but he got the job done. So I think I'm going to save these fillets and make a lemon, garlic lemon something, a lemon butter glazed dish with these guys. It should be pretty good. All right, boom. I'll put these in the fridge and cook them up tomorrow. Holy shice is right.
Boom. Oh, yummy. Looking good. I got some food over here. Our lunch. Yeah, you can turn it off. <laughs>